Hey, welcome to chapter 24 in the book of Exodus. We're going to go up on the mountain here. Let's read it, verse, first ver two verses. Then he said to Moses, Come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel, and you shall worship at a distance. Moses alone, however, shall come near to the Lord, but they shall not come near, nor shall the people come up with him. So before Moses has gone up alone, but this time he comes up and there's 74 of them all together. Uh, but Moses is going to go in and he's going to go straight up all the way to the top when God calls him. So it says Moses alone is to come near. And Moses does occupy a very unique place here. Moses is the leader. Moses is the prophet like under your brother. Moses is the uh, prototype, the prophet who points ultimately to Jesus. Moses is a type of Jesus. He's going to intercede for the people. He's going to bring deliverance and salvation. Of course, Moses is a mere human. Jesus is God. So yeah, kind of a big difference there. There's kind of an interesting piece here. If you go back and you think about what we've looked at over these weeks, this section of the book of Exodus begins at chapter 19, and it ends here in chapter 24. This is kind of a chunk, a section. And in chapter 19, you may remember, there's some going back and forth, going up and down to God on the mountain. Here in 24 now, the whole Israel's been brought in, and Moses again is going to go up and down on the mountain. So this is kind of a bracket. This encloses a check, a section uh, from 19 of Exodus out through 24. This is a section of the book. So this is going to serve to really uh, put Moses in the brackets. Moses is the leader. Moses is the one. There will be no disputing, no questions. And Moses is the, the top guy here. God has designated that. So that's the way it's going to be. Moses, whose name means drawn from the water. Remember that the king of Egypt, the Pharaoh had said, kill all the male Hebrew infants you know, throw them in the water, drown them in the water of the Nile. Uh, Moses' name is saved from the water, drawn from the water. And also, as, as Satan would try to destroy Jesus, Jesus uh, comes and brings salvation anyway. So there's some interesting parallels here. Again, Moses, a mere, mere human, Jesus, God, uh, so somewhat of a difference there. But anyway, here's Moses. And now he brings up leaders with him. You know, you don't do Christianity alone. You, you, there's a lot of individuality in being a believer. There's a lot of things that you address with your conscience directly between you and God. That's true. But it's also true that we work in this together and we look for other people who are on the same page. They help us. They, uh, we balance each other out. It's not really a matter of, of balance. It's a matter of lots of people are connected to God. Lots of people have insights. Lots of people, the Holy Spirit is working with different ones. And if, if you go off track somewhere, your brother, your sister can help you to be on track. So we're looking and we're going to go now through 24 and let's take a look and see what happens next. <music> 